we all realize that these are students with disabilities, but once you get into the interview, what you're really doing is you're trying to pull information from that student regarding you know, what they're interested in, what they're qualified for, what their skills are, what kind of training they may have had, what kind of work experience. So you want to focus more on those kinds of things. Whether or not you've never used an interpreter, never spoken to someone with a speech device, never spoken to someone who may even have some sort of speech disability impediment, the key is, is that you were there to communicate as openly as possible. If you start with that, any mistake that you make will be easily excused because it'll be all in good faith. If you're interviewing a student who is deaf or hard of hearing and they use a sign language interpreter, it is very important to understand and to remember that you speak directly to the student who is deaf or hard of hearing and not to the interpre interpreter. The interpreter is a translator. The best tip I can give someone, uh, or a new interviewer, or a new recruiter for interviewing someone who is blind is, has probably more to do with ensuring that they know what's going on around them. You could see a lot of activity um, that that person may not see. A lot of people walking up and down the hall that are distracting you as, as an interviewer. Tell the person what's going on. Service dogs are an interesting thing in that, um, for the most part, they will distract people who don't understand the purpose of service dogs. The service dog is there to do work for the person with the disability that they're assisting. Otherwise, there's really no reason as an interviewer that I would need to interact with their service animal at all, and it would be impolite for me to do so. Let's look in on the start of an interview with a student named Tanika, who uses a wheelchair. Hi. Hi. I'm Nancy Flores. I'm Tanika Washington. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Would you like any assistance getting to the table? No, do you mind moving the chair for me? Oh, sure. Thank you. So I'm so glad you were able to come It's back. important to understand that a wheelchair is considered part of a person's personal space. You should always ask before touching or providing assistance with the wheelchair, just like the recruiter did with Tanika. 